Hello guys and welcome back to what I'm, what I'm calling vlog week I suppose because we have a few vlogs if you missed it on Tuesday I uploaded a kind of prepping for Christmas just relaxed kind of daily vlog and then today it's going to be all about our home updates where we're at and then on Sunday I'm vlogging decorating for Christmas sneak peek. So if you want to not miss out on any of my videos, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. This video is kind of an accumulation over a couple of weeks from the day that we've moved upstairs, which is where we left, left the last renovation vlog, moving vlog type video. We had just built the bed for upstairs. So we had all the furniture to build, like wardrobe and stuff. We're still to buy certain things. And I just kind of bring you up to date with where we are at with everything within this video. But before we get into sharing with you the content from a couple of weeks ago, I wanted to firstly thank Yuffie for very kindly partnering with me on today's video. I have some new products to share with you. So this is now our let me see, we've got the doorbell, we've got the security camera which is on the back of the house, we've got the floodlight camera on the front of the house. This is the next product that we are to get from Eufy Security. So it's actually a set of two um, indoor cameras, 2K resolution and on-device AI technology. These are incredibly easy to install and it essentially connects to your phone via the app so you can keep track of what's going on. You can get notified, you can switch up the notifications if you don't wanna be notified every single time the pet moves. This also has the voice assist which allows you to ask it to do commands which which is really useful. It has the two-way audio as well. So if you need to tell off your pet, if he's doing something wrong, I also tend to use this at night time if I need, to, if I've heard some noise or something going on, or if I want to check in on Barney, I can be able to do so. And it has still the night view that you can see that the vision is just as clear when it's night time. So it's really good for all 24 hours in a day. And I honestly wouldn't be without it now. Like I can't imagine not having security cameras within our house. I personally just have them set so you can move them around if needs be, but you can actually specifically set it and mount it should you wish to maybe like under a bookshelf if you want it kind of like against the bookshelf like that. And this bit moves around or you can also switch it and I just have it set out like so. So if I open up my Eufy app now, it's called Eufy Security and download this for free. It has live recording and the history as well, which stores loads. You don't have to like pay for an extra monthly fee. So you've got that multiple, multiple user access. They are always so generous in that they offer discount codes with me for you guys and giveaways as well. All of which is hosted over on my Instagram homeware account. So if you want to be in with the chance of winning a set of these yourself head over to Frey Farrington home find my latest post with them where you can enter to win and also if you do want to purchase some yourself or some of the other products on their website I will leave a direct link in the description box below without further ado I feel like we need to move on to back in the past a couple of weeks ago I'm going to start with the initial footage of us getting set up with some flat pack furniture building and organizing and everything so I can bring you up to date with today. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video and stay tuned for Sunday where we're gonna get decorating. Hello guys, good morning. I have plenty to share with you from our last renovation vlog, we called it, slash moving vlog, where we basically, ended the renovations upstairs and moved by bringing our bed up. That was kind of the first stage to moving ourselves up into the top two floors. So now we're at the stage whereby we have to dress all the rooms, we have to style them, we have a couple of things left on like a snagging list whereby we need to just have the electrician finish off some bits, the painter, I think he's actually coming back today. We actually need to give the place a good clean and tidy. So today's agenda is to start building some more Ikea furniture. I'll show you the bits that I've already built with Tom's help as well in the other rooms. But before I do, I just have a couple of bits that I've kind of kept piled up in one side of the room. 
kind of like a mini homeware haul I suppose. So I popped into Ikea, they have all of the Christmas range out and I decided to pick up these things as a bit of a decorative piece, potentially within this room once I've brought some furniture up and maybe brought a chest of drawers up that could maybe sit in the background, you could fill it with fairy lights. I'm thinking of just hanging some plain glass baubles on here, keeping it quite minimal. I think it was 15 pounds the glass bars and then the stems were three pound fifty eight and then also from ikea i picked up these two at six and seven pounds each and they are hanging decorations in fact they might look quite nice on this actually so we have these felt pine cones they kind of remind me of the fact that the white company do little mini felt pumpkins last year and then acorns this year but anyway i also got these which were a wooden decoration set of four this big tree and then a couple of circular kind of teardrop shaped decorations just plain and simple wooden with the kind of antiqued brass hanging part and then i also just got a couple of bits from matalan matalan has some amazing christmasy bits in i picked up these two plate slash bowls for nibbly bits these were five pounds each and then lastly i got this set of tea lights in a new set that they are doing this year called evergreen so this is only three pounds for a set of 24 and then last but not least i got some bits from the white company you might have seen from a recent haul that i did some bits that i picked up now i did mention within that video that i was after the new fireside oil which at the time they didn't have on the website they do now so i'll leave it linked if you want to get your hands on it too i got two i thought why not i personally like to use them in the little wax melt burner that i've got but also i'm going to get out my electronic diffusers electric diffusers aromatic diffusers whatever we call them and i'll be honest it's getting to the point now where we are desperate to get back up with some wardrobes so i think the first on our agenda is get them built our beds from the cotswold bed com no it's not <laughs> it's just the cotswold company they've got a whole range of furniture matching this kind of set the bedside tables we have already built these are the hemnes range from ikea we were going to switch out and put our own like draw knobs draw pulls on but to be honest with you the color that they come with is like the exact same color as the bed it's kind of an off black charcoal black this is the range of wardrobes we've gone for that go with the pax wardrobes the way that we we have measured them out these are the doors as well is for the wardrobes to fit in this space and this space it's going to be quite awkward to open it with that chest of drawers there and the light there these are both 75 but the highest height so in order to fit the doors we've gone for the white door that I've gone in my filming room but also a smaller mirrored door and then Tom's gone for this range as well that is upstairs currently for him to build and then in the filming room or my room I should say i've decided that i'm going to keep this corner clear of a wardrobe and just pop one in here a full meter width wardrobe fits in there i'm going to put some drawers here but just keep that empty as maybe a bit of a filming backdrop got that beautiful vase which i ordered from robinson interiors i actually went and collected it and i'm in love and i also picked up from her store still got these carpet bits down just as and when we've got tradesmen still in obviously we're still to fit this door I'm literally like sidetracking so much here, but this door, I did mention in my previous video, we need the joiner back to just shave off the bottom so it doesn't catch on this carpet. But yes, the second item that I got from Robinson Interiors, let me just pop on the light, is this beautiful rustic stool. Unfortunately, this was the last one. I managed to pick it up in the sale. For now, I've just kind of been using it as a bit of a uh, towel holder i have a bath tray somewhere down in the basement as well i think so again once we've cleared out and started clearing out the basement i'll find things that i can pop in it i do feel like this space is needing some artwork maybe along this wall it's quite a big white space uh we are going to pop my zara her regular shaped mirror on here so again that's Another of the many things to add to my list along with this, the plumber's gonna come back and fit the second one. He just needs an extra part to fit that and the black trim as well to match the other black trims that I've got in this bathroom. He's gonna pop that around the tile there as well. And then I just wanted to show you in this room as well, this is the spare bedroom, how I've just kind of dressed up this area. So this again is the Hemnes range, this set of drawers. And I've popped on here 
one of these mirrors from William Wood Mirrors. I have another larger one arriving for my filming room for like where the chimney breast is. And for now I've just kind of styled it up with a couple of books. This one is Live Beautiful. This is like a serial magazine. And then this unusual sculpture is from Yusk or JYSK. It's like a really affordable Scandinavian homeware brand. And then these are from The White Company. My friend Lydia bought me one as a housewarming gift many moons ago. That's how long ago it feels like we moved in. So I bought the other one just to go with it because I think they look nice. It's a little duo there in the corner. And then whilst we're on track of giving you updates, I feel like I might as well show you this top floor. We've had this light pendant fitted. Tom's going to go for an open wardrobe design in here. So he's got these trays that he's ordered. Nothing else has really changed in here. This is obviously his little ensuite, his bathroom. We do actually need to put the door handles on. That's another thing of our many jobs to do still. We do actually have them here from Corston as well. We've gone for like a bronze. They look black but love them. And we could probably fit them ourselves. Probably don't need a joiner to fit some door handles, do we? new filming spot. I actually feel like you're a bit too bright. Seeing as we are right in front of the window. So I thought I would just show you a delivery that has arrived. Homeware delivery. One that I'm very excited for. So we have obviously brand new bed, brand new mattress, brand new pillows, new furniture everywhere and I thought why not treat myself to some new bedding. So I decided to pick up some bits from Dusk because I've actually been recommended it by you guys quite a lot. Um, it's a very white company style fraction of the price. I actually calculated how much I would have spent on everything that I ordered on the white company and it would have been like 700 quid. So um, I decided to stick with Dusk. I'm gonna try it out and it seems really good quality. Obviously we're going for Super King now. So we have this deep fitted sheet and then i also got a mattress protector it's called pair of oxford pillowcases so i got the standard size and the super king size because standard pillow size which is what we've got is 50 by 75 but i have noticed there's quite a big gap either side of the the pillows so i thought about getting two new super king sized pillows and kind of layering that them up and having those ones at the back and then i also obviously got the actual set which we went for the knightsbridge 600 thread count it's just got a very subtle kind of piping on the edge i just wanted something plain and simple to be honest with you and then i also had this arrive which by the time you're watching this video it's probably going to be irrelevant i'm not sure if there's going to be anything left or what the update is in terms of new releases but girl of news lovely Gemma louise miles here on youtube her brand with her boyfriend jamie they've got a new collection for autumn and they sent me some bits in this gorgeous pr box which is so kind of them the first thing i have to mention is this pair of leggings you know i always talk about lululemon leggings nice and high-waisted i've actually got a pair on now i just love them they're the align pant in 25 inch so this is ever so slightly different they're like a second skin they're double lined so that they're nice and supportive so these are in a medium and these are the taupe dreams color of which she also very kindly sent me the fleece that they've got the zipper fleece this is something that i'm gonna live in if you know me and i know my style you know that this is very much me i feel like the camera's making me look very pale right now i kind of am pale right now but anyway so in a medium it's kind of an oversized fit medium's perfect for me so i also got sent the t-shirt which is the manifest it's like a unisex t-shirt i love the fact that it's cream as well it's not white and then i also got sent she really spoiled me these are called the joggers in white sands that's the color white sands in a small they are super high-waisted i have never owned a pair of joggers this high-waisted and then i also got sent the matching hoodie to go with it this is uh in a medium and this time it has the quote on the front but kind of um 
like stitched on it's not like a transfer thank you so much to Gemma for very kindly sending me those bits I'm trying to think if I've got any other updates yes I do we went to Cheshire Oaks the other day and I got something I just had to show you so we all know how much I'm a lover of La Cruze bits they did have in La Cruze some of the Halloween stuff I was so tempted for the Halloween the Cruze pot. I did leave it on this occasion. I know this is kind of out of season now. Autumn's pretty much over. But I had to pick this up nonetheless. Came in a little bag. It is the cutest little pumpkin trinket dish. Well, it's not a trinket dish because obviously it's kitchenware. You could just use this for like popping your tea bag on. If you are a tea drinker and you like to have somewhere, what are they called? Like a tea caddy? Or you could just use these for like little nibbles with nuts and snacks and things or even just keep it plain and simple on display so i love that i did also pop into dun elm the other day i wanted to try this in my bathroom because i have nowhere to put out my toilet roll i thought i would try this kind of two-in-one toilet roll and toilet brush toilet roll holder toilet brush i thought that would look good in my bathroom seeing as though there's no chrome on it or anything a lot of budget places tend to have a lot of chrome and then for my bathroom as well i also picked up this from dun elm just a nice wicker waste basket it's got the kind of linen liner oh no it doesn't fit down there so it just doesn't quite squeeze down there i think i'm gonna have to get an even smaller one i also put this zara home dish here for now um my intention with that was to put it maybe in tom's room like the top floor as you walk in and on like a console table for his keys and stuff have popped it there and i quite like it now so who knows it might stay there this however should definitely fit down there so let's switch this one out and see how it looks We're done. So this is our new toilet brush. Toilet brush holder. You can't even see me because it's black and I'm wearing black. There we go. Do you put it this way or oops? <laughs> that way maybe and tuck it right in the corner, like so. And there's my little update for today. I've decided as soon as I finish filming this clip, I'm gonna film a TikTok for Gemma's collection. So that'll already be live. Why not follow me on TikTok? This is a new thing that we're venturing into. I feel like TikTok is becoming pretty big. So yeah, I'm doing lots and lots of out and about shopping TikToks, like what's new in stores as well. That's kind of the thing that I'm gonna do on TikTok. So if you're into the vlog in-store footage and also the try-on clips for things like when I do a Zara haul, Primark haul. So yeah, I think I'm gonna film that this afternoon. So yeah. Find me on TikTok if you have it. We have just had a delivery. I picked up two sets of these drawers from Dun Elm. They're called the Linton 7 Drawer Chest in White. These dimensions, hopefully, fingers crossed, we kind of measured up so we had an idea. Um, we're going to put them in my filming room. I still have loads of stuff to sort out from my gift guide video, so we'll just ignore this mess right here. Um, we are going to put one set of drawers here, which hopefully will be really useful for dressing up and making look pretty, as well as practicality-wise for stuff like PR bits and everything to put in. And then I'll also show you two more new goodies, one of which you'll probably recognize that this beauty here from robinson interiors this is going to go on top of the chest of drawers this arch mirror is brand new i got it from william wood mirrors it's huge i feel like it doesn't even look as big as it is on camera as to what it is in real life but loving that but the other set of drawers that we got loads of washing to put away and some more bits from downstairs that we still need to put away so i'm going to try and fit it under here dimension says that it will fit so hopefully it will kind of just be a chest of drawers sat there for me to use as drawers because obviously tom has his drawers upstairs this ikea wardrobe we decided not to build it um we still need to put the handles on my wardrobes but this just to me, I mean, feel free to input your opinion. That to me just looks like it stands out like a sore thumb. I love these doors and I feel like they look really nice in my filming room, but in here with the 
part mirror it just doesn't work it sticks out quite far it doesn't reach the ceiling there's a big gap but we couldn't get the wider one because it would have been too big so for me that just sticks out like a sore thumb I feel like we're going to measure up oh and we couldn't build the other one here because it was too big it stuck out to Tom's chest of drawers and his uh, the wall like that it just it wasn't working so this is going to have to be clear that can't have a wardrobe in it so I'm thinking maybe like a ladder shelf we can throw our dressing gowns over or or some kind of shelving unit there maybe in the future but for for now we're just going to stick with this just because it has all my clothes in well it's about to have all my clothes in temporarily we'll be fine there but we are on the hunt for some nicer built wardrobes maybe even the matching one to this chantilly bed from the Cotswold company if they do one narrow enough for that area and I'm thinking maybe rather than get rid we can just use it downstairs as a temporary kind of cloakroom cabinet for all our for all our coats and boots and things so we will use it but this one that we've not built yet we feel like we might as well try and send back so I need to try and organize that with Ikea so that is where we are at currently with the house obviously we have the christmas decorating to come which is going to be on sunday stay tuned for that make sure you are subscribed with the notification bell so you don't miss out on that and i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video just a reminder if you do want to get your hands on a set of these security cameras the link will be left in the description box below and don't forget to head over to my instagram home account where you can enter to be in the chance of winning a set yourself thank you once again to yufi for working with me on this video i hope you guys have enjoyed it thumbs up if you have subscribe for more thanks for watching and i'll see you again next time Bye guys.